San Diego State is a team to watch when it comes to the 2021 college football season, with head coach Brady Hoke entering his second season back with the Aztecs. But how will this year go for San Diego State? Let's talk about that. As we enter the second week of July, we are now in prime preview magazine season as the college football season quickly approaches. Over the next two months, I will be previewing every college football team. Yes, all 130, and in this episode, I will be looking at San Diego State. Last year, San Diego State went 4-4 and 4-2 and in conference play. The Aztecs would schedule two out-of-conference teams, Colorado and BYU, and lose both games. They returned 52% of their overall production from last season, which ranks 118th most. On offense, San Diego State returned 61% of their production, which ranks 84th most, and on the defensive side, they returned 42% of their production from last year, which ranks 121st. Brady Hoke enters his second season back in San Diego, having a career record of 17-16 with the Aztecs. His first stint came during the 2009 through the 2010 season. He then went on to coach at Michigan from 2011 to 2014. Oak has a record of 82 and 76 as a head coach throughout his career. Jeff Hecklinski enters his second year as the offensive coordinator for the Aztecs. He was an assistant coach and running back coach during Hoke's first stint with the Aztecs before becoming the wide receivers coach at Michigan from 2011 to 2014. Kurt Maddox enters his second year as the defensive coordinator for San Diego State. He originally coached with the Hoke at Michigan before going on to become the defensive coordinator at Eastern Kentucky for four years. On offense, San Diego State returns five starters and will be looking for a new quarterback. This will be the third straight year they will have a quarterback battle with the battle expected to go deep into fall camp. Senior Lucas Johnson showed glimpses of what San Diego State wants in a quarterback during a midseason start against Nevada. He would unfortunately get hurt during that game and miss the remainder of the season. That opened up the door for Jordan Brookshire, who got some late season starts. They also had former four-star recruit Jalen Maiden from Mississippi State via the transfer portal. Maiden has not played a snap since the 2018 season though. They lost Carson Baker to the transfer portal as well. At running back, Greg Bell became the first Aztec running back to start his career with four straight 100-yard games. Although he got off to a hot start, his season was derailed by injuries, which slowed him down. Chance Bell, Keegan Williams, and Jordan Bird all returned after rushing for 200 plus yards. Jalen Armstead also could see some reps this season as he stood out during spring ball. The wide receiver unit has talent and returns the top eight pass catchers from last season. Jesse Matthews led the team in receiving yards and has the possibility of being a future pro prospect. Kobe Smith also returns, finishing third in receiving last season. San Diego State also adds Mississippi State and Alabama transfer Tyrell Shavers. Tight end Daniel Bellinger has also stood out a lot going into fall camp, showing he has the talent to be great. The Aztecs will have a brand new offensive line coach in Mike Goff, who will be looking to work on the left side of the line. First team all Mountain West tackle Zachary Thomas moves to the left side of the line. They lose left tackle Kyle Spaulding and guard Jacob Cabra. Going into the season, they have a combined 65 starts returning on the offensive line. They also have a handful of freshmen waiting in the wings, including Josh Simmons. On the defensive side of the ball, San Diego State returns nine starters. Last year, the defense ranked 3rd in total defense, 2nd in yards per play, and 11th in points allowed. They returned all three starters up front for the 3-3-5 defense. Cameron Thomas and Kashawn Banks return. Thomas recorded 4 sacks last year and was named 1st team all-conference. Banks is expected to be more of a destructive force this year as well. Jonah Tavai shined once Banks moved to the defensive end last year. When it comes to the linebackers, Caden McDonald was the leader last year recording 34 tackles, four and a half sacks and five and a half tackles for a loss. They do lose Dwayne Johnson Jr. with Patrick Morris likely replacing him. All four starters return including Cydric, Laka Laka and Andrew Alecki. When it comes to the defensive backs, San Diego State loses standout Tyreek Thompson and Darren Hall with Hall deciding to enter the 2021 NFL Draft. Trenton Thompson and Tyler Hawkins return. This should be a solid unit but they do have less experience when compared to last year. When it comes to the special teams, they will need to replace their punter and all Mountain West long snapper. Kicker Matt Areza may be working double duties as punter. When it comes to the return game, they will need to hold on to punts this season. When looking at the Aztec schedule, San Diego State plays the 97th hardest schedule according to Phil Steele. Athlon projects them to go 7-5 and 5-3 and and in the conference, while ESPN projects them to win between 5 and 7.2 games. 
When looking at their schedule, I think they will win the season opener, but drop their games to Arizona and Utah before rebounding with wins over Towson and New Mexico. I think they finished four and three in their last seven games, losing at San Jose State, at Hawaii, and home against Boise State, finishing the season going seven and five, and five and three in conference. But what do you think? How will San Diego State do this season? Make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other videos in the preview series. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, remember to embrace the grind.